happening here. Meantime, he has been hitting you overnight on Twitter in interviews as well. He's calling you a choke artist, calling you a lightweight, and puts up this tweet uh, that has the cover of the Drudge Report this morning asking, where do you win? And that is a big question. Donald Trump is ahead in almost every state on Super Tuesday. You're ahead in none. Yeah, I acknowledge I'm an underdog, and I have been my entire life. Unlike Donald, I didn't inherit hundreds of millions of dollars. My dad was a bartender. My mother did the job as a maid that Donald Trump now hires foreigners to do. And my whole life I've had to fight, and I'm going to fight now, because there is no way that the party of Reagan and the conservative movement, I'm going to allow it to be taken over by a con artist. He says I'm a choker. He's a con artist. He consistently is telling people he's going to be out there fighting on their behalf, but he has spent 40 years sticking it to the people he now claims to be fighting for. But where do you win on Tuesday? If, he's, if he wins eight or nine states, can he be stopped? He can, because first of all, if you look at Tuesday, most of these states are going to award delegates proportionally. Very well in virtually every state on Super Tuesday and pick up a lot of them. Hopefully we'll win a couple. But it, even if we don't, you're going to see us continue to pick up delegates. And when we get into March 15th, we'll win Florida, which is a ton of delegates. He's up double and digits we'll right now. Forward from there. No, he's not. That, that's one poll. We've, got, we've seen multiple polls that show a very different race. I, am very, I know Florida well. I've won there. I'm, I'm from there. We are going to win Florida. Florida is not going to vote for a con artist, and it's not going to vote for someone who in Palm Beach right now is not hiring willing Americans while that are willing to work. Instead, he's importing workforce from abroad, but he's out there some sort of immigration crusader. It's a fraud. We're going to expose it. Senator Rubio, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, George. Okay, let's go.